Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to capture the day and night effect in Scratch. Let's get started. So first, let's start with the setting that we want to apply this effect on. I'm choosing this setting that I have made using the sprites in Scratch. Let's add a new sprite and we're going to use the paintbrush option to do this. Using the rectangle tool, we're going to draw a big black rectangle, going outside the borders, just to be exact. Now let's switch back to the code tab and drag out a set color effect to block. Right now it says set color effect, but when you click on the little arrow next to it, it's going to change all of these effects that you have. I'm going to use ghost to make this effect actually work. The first block says set ghost effect to 50, the second one says set ghost effect to 100, and let's say the last one's going to say set ghost effect to zero. Let's test these things out. The first block is set ghost effect to 50, this makes it into a more desirable kind of nighttime scene. The second one is set goes to back to 100. That makes it nice and bright. And the last one is pretty much useless. It just turns the whole thing black. Exactly what the sprite is made for. Now let's go ahead and do the actual code part. Let's say whenever we click on the green flag to start the project, it switches it to the daylight and not staying it to the previous scene it was. And when we click on the space key, it sets it to 50. And the last one, when we click on the up arrow key, it switches it back to the daylight effect. Perfect. Now, I want my dog to do something when it switches between these two scenes. We can do this easily by adding a broadcast message after the up arrow key or the space key pressed. Now, we're going to make the message sleep or any kind of action that you want your dog to do whenever it switches between these two scenes. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and go back to the dog sprite. Now we're going to drag out a when I receive sleep block. This is so when the dog receives the broadcast and whatever is underneath this block, that's what it will do once it receives the broadcast. We want it to switch its costume to a sleeping position. We can do that easily by tweaking the costume. and go to the controls category and we can go ahead and drag out a forever loop and we can also go ahead and drag out some costume switching blocks from the looks category Now, when we played the project, the dog is still sleeping, even after we click on the key that makes it go back to daylight. We want it to wake up once it does that, so let's say whenever the green flag is clicked, we want the dog to switch back to its original costume. That's all I wanted to show you today. You could use this in so many different games. Pet simulators, simulators, platform games, jumping, scrolling background games, and so much more. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!